happy new year in advance and to let you know that you shall make it and cross over to 2023. Hallelujah. 2023, you shall be there. I shall see you in 2023. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the promise of God for you. You that is discouraged, you that may be at the hospital, you that may be feeling down, you that may be feeling depressed. Let me tell you something. Oh, you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. And this is the word of God for you in Psalm 11. 8 verse number 17 hallelujah because God has ordained for you a day of rejoice and gladness in 2023 in 2023 it will be your day of rejoice and gladness because it is the year the Lord has made for you you shall rejoice and be glad in it this is also Psalm 118 verse number 24 my God my God and my Lord nothing will hold the plans of God Nothing will stop the plans of God. Nothing will block the plans of God for your life in 2023. So hold on to Jesus. Keep holding on. Keep holding on. You a carabasoteria. You need to hold on tightly. Do not let the enemy sway you, giving you negative voices and negative thoughts. Tell that negative thoughts. Tell that negative voices to get deep behind you, Satan. You voice of the devil. Hey, get deep behind me. That's how you deal with the devil. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you shall make it. Happy New Year to you in, like in advance because you're already there. The word of God is yes and is amen. Hold on to Jesus. If you are looking for peace, for joy, for, for healing, for deliverance, you that is watching and listening to this, I'm going to lead you to Christ Jesus. Him alone can give you that happiness, that joy. Him alone can take away the depression, the suppression, the negative thought, the demonic torment in your life. Only Jesus alone can heal and deliver your soul, your body and your mind and your spirit. So if you are that person that is healing, that is hungry, is, 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 is actually even tired and wants to receive, you know, ultimate healing, then Jesus Christ is that ultimate healing. He's the ultimate healer. So say this prayer after me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father God, thank you for loving me so much. And thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for my sins. Please forgive me. I repent of all my sins. I didn't know any better. From today going, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Lord Jesus, take over my body my mind and my soul because it all belongs to you i promise to live and to serve you forever and ever thank you father for jesus christ i believe in jesus mighty name amen if you pray this prayer you are now born again you are saved that's it that's it there is nothing calls to you there is nothing that it took from you by praying this prayer now receive the peace of god receive the power of God, receive the light of Jesus. May the light of Jesus Christ begin to shine your way and shine upon you in Jesus' mighty name. If you are looking for healing, deliverance, receive that now. Receive a touch from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Know that whatever negative that comes to you, it is not from God. It is from the devil. Because the devil came to steal, to destroy he came to kill, to steal, to destroy. He came to silence. He came to, he, like, he came to take away what God has for you. So know that this day, whatever the enemy came to steal from you, God has restored you. You just need to keep loving him, keep obeying him, keep serving him. Hallelujah. Appreciate him. Let somebody, somebody, somebody in this, in this, somebody out there needs to hear this. So I encourage you to share this video encourage somebody because jesus is still on the throne if they cannot kill jesus then they cannot kill you that's if you believe you understand if they cannot kill god that means they cannot kill you that's if you believe because um, romans 8 verse 1 says now therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in christ hallelujah because you are also now a new creature the same spirit that raised up christ jesus from the dead has risen you up from your sins and has been wiped away and God is so happy and pleased with you God is so pleased with you 
So make sure you do the right thing now. Live for God and it shall be well with you. It shall go well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. Happy New Year. Happy New Year from me. Happy New Year from heaven. Happy New Year from Jesus, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Happy New Year. You shall live your best life in 2023. Even you had lived best in, if you, whether you lived your best life in 2022 or you did not, but 2023, you shall live your best life, even better, even greater, better than 2022. So receive that in the name of Jesus. God loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. That's why he came to die for you. For the word of God says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever may believe in him may not perish but have everlasting life. And that is not your portion because you now believe. Hallelujah. Be clothed with the love of God. Let the love of God fill your heart in Jesus' mighty name. I just wanted to encourage you and let you know that God loves you. Jesus loves you and wish you a very, very happy, happy, prosperous new year of 2023. Have a blessed year. I will see you. God bless you. Hallelujah.